Algebra 1, Quadratics Test Review, Part 1, Vocabulary. The vert use the letters on the graph to match the point to the word. Vertex is always either a maximum or a minimum. When you have a maximum, your curve opens down. So our vertex here, point C, is a maximum because the curve opens downward. The x-intercept the solution, the root, and the zeros are all the same point. Where does the curve cross the x-axis? At A and B. The solutions are negative 4 and 0. Those are the x-intercepts. The roots, same thing exactly. And the zero, same thing exactly. We have four different words for the same idea because parabolas are a special case. In higher math, you will have other um, words that mean the same thing. This is just a strange case. The maximum here is also the vertex. It is point C. Here is the origin. The vertex point C is negative 2 positive 4. The ordered pair for the vertex is negative 2, positive 4. Here is the origin here at point B. The B is a 0 because this is where it crosses the x-axis. This happens to be a special case. The line of symmetry always goes through the line of symmetry always goes through the vertex. The line of symmetry for a parabola is always vertical. Here it is line D. The y-intercepts, where does the curve cross the y-axis? Only one point at 0, 0. The equation for the line of symmetry is this line here. Well, what is the equation of this vertical line? Well, do we have a special um, point for y? No, y can be anything. Do we have a special value for x? Well, yes, we do. x equals negative 2. We see that this line of symmetry is the x-coordinate for the vertex. The ordered pairs of the x-intercept are negative 4, 0, and 0, 0. Give the domain and range of the given function. Domain is all possible values of x.
We note that these arrows mean that the curve does not stop, but it goes on and on and on and on forever. So if we go for long enough, eventually it will go to infinity, both positive infinity and negative infinity. It will go on forever and ever. So the domain is all real numbers. We have a cute little symbol for that. Two vertical lines and a capital R. The symbol means all real numbers. What is the range of this function? Well, is it also all real numbers? Ooh, not so fast. The range is all possible values of y. Very important math vocabulary, this range idea. Well, if it were all real numbers, then y could be 5 or 6 or 10, but that's not how it is. y is less than positive 4. Could y be equal to positive 4? Well, yes, of course it could, because that's the y value of the vertex. Therefore, the range for our parabola here is the set of all y's such that y is less than or equal to 4. That's our vocabulary.